turn that drag down. <laughs> it's super early. It's, let's see, it's uh, 4.54, super early in the morning. We are going fishing. We're going to go for a blackfin, tuna, and mahi, hopefully, today. Um, I'm excited. Got to wake up early, though, to get to the boat ramp before everyone else does. You could eat it, but it's not something that you want to eat. You're, you're not going to hate it, but you're not going to enjoy it either. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else is going to like. And this is why I like the spinning rod for this. So you say there's a mahi free swimming there later. You see it? I can get my bait right in front of him. Yeah. That's why I wanted to grab these ones as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you help me out with? Yeah. Can you hold this? Yeah, I'm gonna set the hook on this guy real quick. Yeah. All right, here you go. Can you hold this? Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna clear this guy. That's actually a good sign now. Just in case, can you have the uh, gas uh, hook ready? The, yeah. Uh, Oh, it's a bonita. They're playing with us. Well, at least we're getting some fun there. It's getting... It's tangled, well, it's tangled down. down somewhere. I think that's another rock. You want to loosen the drag real quick? Yeah. And I really thought it was not going to be a bonita. I was hoping it wasn't. Fish number four, you ready? Dang, I was really hoping it wasn't going to be him. I thought it wasn't because he wasn't pulling like it. Uh, I thoroughly coated myself. Oh, fuck. That must be a shark. Tighten that drag down. So it's, it's all away. <laughs> it's all the fucking way. I can't play, play in the drag anymore. You got it. It's a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's full drag. It's full fucking full drag. It must be a shark. Yeah. Look at this thing. <laughs> I've never had something like this. Full drag. <laughs> I've caught him before. Just keep, keep working them. Fuck me! <laughs> I caught one on the Torium. Like Dude. a huge bull shank. Dude! Look at him! You got a monster! I saw something like a huge uh, king or something. No. It's a, if it's anything, it's either if, if, if it's, it's, it's a shark. I, it's, it's running like a shark. Could be an amberjack, but like... Come on! Much, much easier. Come on! You would have cut the li that line by now. It's a circle hook. So, 50% uh, yeah. of the time you'll get lucky on the shark. But it is mono, so eventually you'll wear it. Alright, I think after this we go trolling. Yeah. You're moving it though. Yeah? Dude, it's full, full drag and this. Yeah. Sharks are big. You said you wanted a workout today, right? You, what? Yeah. you weren't trying to just fish. The fact is bonita chunks, you know what loves bonita. Yeah, that's true. I also threw a bonita carcass in the water a minute ago. Yeah, if you get this shark up near the boat though, I'm looking for cobia. It's going again. Yeah. Should I loosen the drag a bit? Just in um, case. Imagine if it's a small fish. <laughs> it's gonna be like a little <laughs> tiny baby. 
I think he got a yellow tail snapper. <laughs> Dude, my back is turning. What's your biggest fish? All time biggest fish. Huge, man. Probably 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Oh, yeah, we're hooked up to your TV right here. What's that? This is your personal best fish by a large margin. You've been fishing just for Yeah. Like offshore, like a year and a half. Yeah. This is your biggest fish by a, a large, a large margin. <laughs> oh. Oh, those head shakes are a little better. Should I? I'm gonna loosen yeah, a bit. loosen a little bit. What pound drag does it put out? 40, 50? Yeah, I got no color for you, unfortunately. Huh? No color for you. Hopefully you have some Tylenol. Ah! <laughs> that hurts so much. <laughs> you better and you, be big. And you have a fighting belt, too. You better be bigger. You better not post a video, man. <laughs> dude, Old wait. dude, smoked by baby fish. Off it. Broke off? Yeah. Oh. No! Had a big pull. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see what it was. It was a shark, you know it. Let's, yeah. let's look and see what the line shows us. That sucks, man. Yeah. It doesn't have shark. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a big fish. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this. Down a ghost. Can I turn just a slide? <laughs> or two. Might be another one at the bottom. That's a small one. Big enough to keep to eat. Well, it, it, it can work. Yeah. He's not gonna go back down though. So. Let's throw one more time right on top, and we'll, yeah. we'll leave. There. There we go. Sounds good. Little rose fish. Look at his eyes. You can tell he came straight from the dap. Oh, I'm feeling it here. They have to, yeah. And there's something floating there, see it? No way. On the shotgun. What should I do? Uh, slow down a little bit. He's hooked. Good. I saw him blast that. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn around a little bit because this is a lot lighter leader than uh, the other rods. Yeah, give us a nice loop once you get that line clear. What's that? Give us a nice turn around once you get that line clear. Nice. <laughs> It's jumping and it's pulling. That? Oh no! No, 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 no! You lost it? It came off. Oh my god! Just, just throw some off. Hey guys, back at the fillet station. Actually, just kidding. I live in a studio apartment in downtown Miami. This is my countertop. Hopefully, I'm not going to make a mess, but I currently have two of these little fellas called black belly rosefish. They're apparently really good to eat. I'm gonna fillet them up real quick. Figured out why they call it black belly. Cut off some of the rib meat and it is actually black on the inside. That's really cool. Okay. 
So it's two days later after I uh, caught those fish. They were just refrigerated. I'm going to make myself some dinner, but it's going to be pretty straightforward and easy. No fancy recipes or anything. So I'm going to be making a base of rice, but it's going to be a pre-made mix, which this is actually fantastic. I recommend it. Um, and then I'm going to have carrots that are going to be baked, and I'm going to do the traditional Florida way of cooking fish, a very basic Everglades seasoning. I actually haven't tried this. I bought this uh, because of other YouTubers that I've watched in the past, and I'm going to be trying it today. I always try to dab my fish entirely dry. I don't wash it in fresh water or anything, but dab off all the extra moisture that comes off. I'm going to put a thorough coat of the seasoning on just to try it. Butter's getting hot. You're gonna see the sizzle. There it is, yep. I'm about to try the food. Um, I left the recipe super basic because this is the first time I'm going to be trying black belly rose fish. I've heard it's really good. Um, I mostly want to try it to taste the fish. I've never been a big fan of smaller fish, um, probably because I think they taste fishier. That has to do with my lack of being able to cut them well compared to like a big, steaky, meaty fish. Um, if you notice, I'm actually eating in my kitchen. You don't know how small a studio apartment is until you live by yourself in a studio apartment. So that <laughs> it's convenient for me to <laughs> eat right here, but I'm gonna try it and we'll see what it is. Okay, to be fair, I don't know what the fish tastes like compared to the Everglades seasoning. It's not bad, but I probably should have just salted and peppered it if I really wanted to compare it because all I taste is the Everglades seasoning, which if you like that, I guess this is good. Hopefully I'll be able to do some uh, fancier catch and cook videos in the future with my own recipes that I've developed over the years. Thanks for watching.